In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to create a series of shapes in Fusion 360, which will end up being assembled together to make this typical IKEA type child's toy. Okay, so to start off in the software, you'll see a blank design. You will create the first square shape, okay, the first cube shape of this design, starting with the simplest shapes. So if we click on create sketch, we click on the base work plane, these are the work planes that appear, click on the base work plane, then we click on the rectangle tool and draw a square 30 by 30. So you can see highlighted in blue on the left hand side there you've got 30 and at the bottom is 30. At the alter line, you can just type it in at any time Press the tab key on your keyboard and it will move to the other dimension and you can change that to whatever you want. But we want 30 by 30. So we'll keep it at that. So finish the sketch by clicking up here. Then click on the extrude tool which appears on the top menu bar. Click on extrude and again we want it to extrude to 30. We want new body, click OK. And you now have the cube shape. You can use the roller ball on your mouse to roll in and out to wherever you point at. And you can also use this manipulator tool in the top right hand corner to click on it to view it from different angles. Or just left click and drag on it and you can rotate it around to different angles to see it in different ways. Uh, we now want to make the holes on all three sides, so very simply, create the sketch again. This time we're going to click on the top of one of the surfaces, so the top surface of the cube. Then click on the circle tool. If you go along the edge, you will see the triangle appear beside the cursor where it finds the center point. So if you lay in, simply scroll in to the middle, you'll see the two guiding lines in blue appear which gives you the center of that cube. So type in the dimensions you want, 12 mil for the hole. And again, hit return to finish the sketch. Click on the finish sketch tool up here. Then click on the extrude button. Click on the actual circle. You want to extrude and drag it down through the cube. You'll see it will change here to cut. It automatically understands you want to cut a hole through the cube. Once you see that, click OK. And just check the hole has gone all the way through. So again, click on the sketch, create sketch tool, click on the side of the cube. Another side, we will roll in a bit, just getting used to the way the mouse manipulates the image. Then click on the circle tool. And again, do the same. Find the edges, center for the edges, then roll it into the center and click and drag out 12 mil. Finish the sketch and extrude it. Make sure it's cut, click OK. And again, just check. The last hole on the side, same again. By now you should be getting an idea of how it works. Again, find the center of the edges, move the cursor towards the center of the square and you will see the two blue lines appear again. Click and drag out and 12 mil. Finish the sketch and again extrude the whole, make sure you've got the right, <clears throat> sometimes just cancel it, make sure you've got the right circle that you want to extrude through. And again, checking it says cut. And that's it, that's the first shape, as easy as that. So now you have to save it. So at the top, just click on save, call it cube one. 
make sure you know where it's going to be saved. You can create your own folder and so on. New project, new folders. Yeah. Up to you where you want to save it. Remember where you see it and make sure all the folders or all the different files to come are saved into the correct place. So save. And that's your first part.